Okay, hello and welcome to this Garrettcom training presentation on um, terminal emulator programs. In this um, presentation we're going to talk about two of the most famous which are Hyperterm and Putty. If we start with Hyperterm, Hyperterm was one of the most famous ones. It's uh, not uh, actually that capable but what it is is famous because in earlier versions of Windows it tended to be bundled along with some of the other system tools. Um, the only problem with Hyperterm is that it doesn't support SSH connections, so it just supports basic Telnet connections and uh, console connections. And the other problem with Hyperterm is that it's no longer bundled with Windows and it's, uh, it can be quite difficult to get hold of a free copy. This is one I found online. Uh, you're more than welcome to have a search for Hyperterm Private Edition and uh, some versions are chargeable, some versions are free of charge. Uh, so when we double click on the connection it asks us to, to name that new connection. Typically I always just put a full stop in there and click OK. The good thing about Hyperterm is that it will automatically detect what COM port you're using. So if you watched a video on co uh, console cables and connectors uh, you would have seen me go through Device Manager to find out what COM port I was using with my USB to serial converter. Uh, if you're using Hyperterm you don't actually need to do this, it will automatically detect it. If you're using Putty, however, it won't and you'll have to specify it. But we'll talk about that in a second. So here we're using COM port 4. If we wanted to use a, a Telnet connection, we could use that here as well um, via TCP IP. So uh, COM port 4 for now for a console connection, click OK. Let's move this across. And here we have to specify the speed of the console connection. If you want to connect to a Garrettcom device, the speed is 38400. Data bits are 8, parity is none, stop bits are 1. You don't need to remember those. All you need to remember is that you can leave them at the defaults. The only thing else I would change is flow control. Just change that to none. And go OK. It's going to adjust the window slightly. And click return. And there we are. We're at the login prompt. And let me just uh, alter that slightly. And let's go manager and manager of the default usernames and passwords for the read write user account on any success switch. Okay, so uh, let's just quickly run through the whole process one more time. If I log out here, just want to log out and close this down. It's asking me if I want to disconnect. Yes, I do. If I want to save my session, no, I don't. So process again one more time is hyperterm load it up name the connection just use a default uh, select your com port just go OK select your speed just need to change to 38400 and the flow control to none click OK uh, it's going to move the screen across and here you get the initial welcome screen uh, it's going to move this down so that you can see it properly and click on return and here we get all the uh, the normal stuff we missed out last time so um, manager manager uh, you, the only reason you missed out last time is actually had a, a telnet session already open forgive me a console session already open to that switch before I started the recording so this is what it looks like when you initially log in and here we see the version of the operating system this one's using 14.1.7 um, okay so let's that's a hyperterm uh, we can just close it down or log out. Uh, yes, we want to log out and just close that down. Again, asking us if we want to disconnect. Yes, we do. If we want to save the, ses the session, no, we don't. Okay, so let's go to Putty and double click on Putty. And here we have a completely different screen. Uh, Putty is a little bit more complicated. Uh, there's no doubt about it. And it's, um, however, it is a much more powerful terminal emulator. It's probably one of the most popular ones. In all of the large organizations that I've worked for previously, um, they all tend to use different network management software, all sorts of complicated tools, and they might have uh, Linux systems and, and, and Unix systems and what have you, but they all seem to use this PuTTY application. It just seems to be one of the most popular. So. Um, the good thing about it is here we can see it supports both Telnet, raw connections, remote login, SSH and of course the serial connection. So here we're going to make a serial connection to 
um, a serial being a console connection to our Garrett.com switch so we select from these radio buttons a serial connection we, uh, in the serial line we have to alter the COM port if you're using COM port 1 you can leave it there but we're using COM port 4 and um, the speed needs to be changed again previously we were using 38400 and what you can do is actually instead of having to type all this in again and again what you can do is you can create a new session uh, called, uh, so let's call it uh, Garrett com and let's save that so now what we can do is if we cancel that out and double click again if next time we come to log in we can just double click on the Garrett com and up it comes so um, let's just go through that again it's a little bit too quick uh, double click on putty select Garrett com from the list load it and here we see we're using the COM port 4, we're using the speed 38400 and it's a serial connection just click open and up it comes here we have the uh, same window again a little bit smaller in size let's just extend that out and click return and here we are back at the login prompt manager and manager okay so if we want to log out we can do that here as well otherwise pretty much very similar now the um, which one to use uh, I would suggest using Hyperterm if you're uh, fairly new to networking it's got uh, a few nice little features it's a bit easier to use than Putty Putty can be a little bit oh, Putty can be a little bit overwhelming at first with uh, tends to be a little bit more intimidating but it's much more powerful so uh, as you start to find your feet in networking a little bit more experience, a little bit more comfortable with these tools, you'll definitely want to progress to Putty because it's got lots of features that um, are very useful uh, for the more advanced uh, things you might want to do with your network. Okay, so uh, that completes this brief discussion on uh, using uh, terminal emulator programs. I hope you found this interesting, I hope it's been useful, and on behalf of Garrett.com, I'd like to thank you for your time. Goodbye.